okay so in today's class we will cover uh, server load balancing and after that admin profile okay so what is the server load balancing so just assume like you are a uh, you know like me you everyone we are using that youtube right youtube facebook any public server right so yes. uh, how they uh, in in corporate they are using load balancer in between switch okay and uh, in between switch to firewall okay so to distribute the load okay and this facility uh, the server slb is available into the on only 40 gate firewall not others okay so so uh, from like like from outside whenever we are using to that uh, accessing to any any server okay the firewall will distribute one request to server one second request to server two third four and many more if whatever you are having you just need to list here into the firewall and the traffic will redistribute one by one if there is a single traffic then okay it will send one by one if there is a millions of users are accessing your server then what then there will be a load balancer okay load balancing will be there got it yeah so this is the way how we are going to you know uh, what is the use of server load balancing and how, how we are uh, how we are using it okay so yesterday i shared one document let me open so server load balancing just a minute Can you explain brief about the load balancing? What is the usage? Uh, can you yes. explain brief about Yeah, yeah, that I'm looking now. Know? That I'm looking. Okay, just a minute. Server load balancing. So, in server load balancing, uh, uh just a minute uh hi yes initial okay this okay highlight the future of uh you know server load balancing so server load balancing are uh, the describe how to configure 40 ways server load balancing and that um, uh, what are the you know uh, http and https load balancing multiplexing and presenting describe 40 ways server load balancing feature that support load balancing of HTTP and HTTPS session, okay, along with SSL and TLS load balancing, also it will support IP, TCP, UDP, also it will support, okay. While configuring some protocols are there, I will show you that 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 the protocols it is supporting, okay. So, by introducing comprehensive server load balancing functionality to next generation firewall, this is relevant to the next generation firewall, okay, which is unified threat management solution for DOS, taken threat protection to uh, to a while. A new new level rather than uh, going to the expense expense of deploying multi multiple solution to protect your server a uh, form you can uh, you can combine firewall and next generation utm and the and load balancing into a single 40 gate unit or cluster the benefit of con uh, consolidation is not only limited cost okay so this service is available only into the 40 gate firewall you don't need to per you purchase extra utm like a, a load balancer okay so like this there is one internet and there is millions of public users this is your internal servers which the which is accessible for the public users okay so the traffic will come to the firewall and firewall will uh, based on the configuration firewall will distribute that uh, distribute the traffic one by one one by one okay so this is the uh, benefit of key feature of benefit increase relicense a cancellate solution result in significant simplified network architecture high availability can provide for all technology with just a pair of device rather than a several okay Re reduce operational other uh, over overheads a unified management solution consi consi uh, consisting of a single gui login and reporting snmp monitoring and other management function will significantly reduce the re resource requirement to manage the multiple things the here from here um, the 40 way server load balancing feature set contains all the features we would expect of a server load balancing solution okay traffic can be balanced across multiple backend server based on multiple load balancing schedule schedule including static failover round robin weighted and other other options are also there health and uh, 
based on the health and performance of the server including round trip time and number of connections the load balancer support http https imaps pop 3s smtp ssl tls and generic tcp udp and ip protocol these are the protocol that is supporting this 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 protocol traffic only supporting in the load balancing okay session uh, session persistence is supported based on the ssl session id based on the inject, injected http cookies or many other things are there okay so there are some some uh, some protocols only that is uh, that is that traffic only being being a load balance okay health checking can be enabled to prevent load balancing traffic from being a sent and non function several let's suppose this server is down how do we know that this server is down how the firewall will know because we will configure here health checkup of every server whenever that in every 5 or 10 second server and the firewall will communicate with each other and firewall will especially connect with the, this, this uh, server that uh, to check their the, the, to check their health if it is a proper it is working properly then only this uh, this uh, this firewall will send the traffic into this firewall uh, this route uh, this server otherwise it will send to other other fire other other routers uh, or sorry other other servers okay so this is the way and these are the benefit and key feature of the server load balancing i already said the cookbook you you please go once okay clear uh, i had a small doubt yeah uh, where the load balancing can you can use it everywhere uh, or in particular situations no when you are having any when you are having any wave hosting at that time you can and you are having a multiple server for the same thing that time you okay. can this is our inside na yeah so when you are, you are having a different servers means you can use the load balancing yeah when you are having when you are having multiple server for the single services okay okay that time you can use if you are having a multiple server with the multiple yeah, multiple uh, oh, services okay. that time also you can use okay, okay. there is there no, is no limit. need for any partic uh, particular you can use based on our requirements right? yeah yeah whatever server you are hosting for the public public users that you can you can uh, distribute the loads okay yeah. okay so these are the configuration which i have been already configured okay so here i have been configured in in firewall uh, server 1 and server 2 server 3 and server 4 enable so ip interface brief so i have been configured a single ip address so ip route so default route i have been configured towards 192.168.101.1 okay r2 same configuration r3 same configuration r4 same configuration internet i just did uh, internet i just did what enable so ip interface brief I just did 101 and 102 interface as IP assign. Okay, there is no so IP route, so there is no default route towards anywhere. Okay, got it. Yes, sir. And the basic configuration. Then give all the static, right? Yeah, only static default. So IP yeah. interface brief, not so IP Conf so system so system interface question mark so 9216815936. This is the our port number one so through this 136 i have already accessed this firewall admin and the admin i am only configured what i have been configured to uh interface and i change this as a manual okay and after that the basic or ip ip, IP configures on ip configuration is only there okay and after that what after that uh, we have we are also having what uh, the static routing only have been configured towards the uh, the internet okay a static route toward internet a static route towards internet so the gateway is a one so here one okay nothing more than that so how to configure this server load balancing go to the system go to the feature visibility and uh, you'll get i'll show you something there is nothing like a uh, no load balancing option you can't see in the firewall under the policy right but under the system you'll get Lo, uh, local load balance once you enable this load balance you'll get one more option here okay under the policy and objects so with, which one uh, health checkup protocol virtual servers is there right that that option you'll you'll get it so once you come here you'll need to create and you need to give a name okay uh, http 
okay we virtual virch server okay virtual server so http traffic will come traffic will come from any interface and virtual server address so whenever that the uh, virtual server address whenever anyone is hitting to 101.1.100 with the port number 80 okay and then to, to whenever someone is hitting to to uh, this 101.1.100 with the port number 80 means http service will come then you can just send to whom the packet will packet will send to which one the real server this is the virtual server this is will be our real server it will it, it will send to uh, what is the ip address 192.168.101.10 192.168.101.10 and port number 80 that's it maximum count we can keep anything 1 2 3 4 anything you can keep okay i'm keeping as a one active okay okay maximum count the same thing you can do uh, create new another ip is 192.168.10 101.20 80 okay and the port number will be any anything you can give any maximum count 100 200 you can you can based on the, your server capability you can you can uh, de design how, how many connections uh, that server can uh, you know maintain at the same time okay 192.168.101.30 if i'm not wrong 101.30 one zero hundred forty the port number eighty and that service will be one thousand two thousand based on your that server capability you can define this okay and one more is there one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot thirty dot forty thirty dot forty one zero one ninety two dot one sixty eight one zero one dot forty AT port number request will come in the 4000 anything based on their capability okay then now how it will be it will become like our uh, okay one more point here http just a minute http what are the services that it it will support so http https ima pop3 smtp ssl tcp udp ip these are the protocols uh, traffic uh, will support by the FortiGate firewall is a server load balancing it, okay? So, where pop3s? Pop3, when you are having an email, email pop3s, IMAPs, these are the email email protocol, right? Uh, what about SMTPS? I don't know, I had an idea on it, SMTPS. SMTPS, I have, SMTPS is a, you know, what is the SMTPS? So, SMTPS. Oh, like the same, same. It is a, it is a layer of tra transport layer. You can go through once using transport layer security. It is intended to provide authentication of the communication part. So whenever, what is the meaning of these? These are the protocols. Uh, traffic can be handled by the server load balancing in the FortiGate firewall. Okay, this particular, this limited uh, services traffic okay yeah. okay now i said health checkup of the server before sending it okay so there is a health checkup option and here you need to use what you need to use uh, name of health checkup okay in every five second they can check okay before sending the data they can check okay it will yeah. give any notification while uh, it's the ah, it will the give firewall. to that it will give to the firewall okay okay hmm. so this is the way how you're going to configure and one more thing i'm missing here just a minute round robin option i'm missing yeah static is there so i'm just keeping as a round robin okay round robin means one to one one connection to 10 one connection to 20 one connection to 30 one connection to 40 done okay our Virtual server is configured whenever any user from the from the ne public network, whenever someone is hitting to 101.101.100, 101 
with the http means port number 80 it will send to one uh, round robin means one one request to 10 one request to 20 second third request to 30 40 like this again 10 20 30 40 based on your configuration so this is the way how you're going to configure then firewall policy create a policy under this policy and uh, slb policy slb policy i'm keeping as a name slb policy incoming interface the port the request will come from the port number three and it will go to port number two the port number three it will go to port number two request will come from the outside public network okay and the server is connected with the port number two right source will be all because we can we don't know right so now here we are not getting anything right because of this whenever you're configuring the server load balancing it should be a proxy based okay not the flow based so that is the reason now we will get a virtual server uh, this 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 one i created right VIRTI server when it is in a flow based you cannot find this are you able to see no right yes 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 so when it is in you need to use in a proxy based because flow based it will not support okay so where i was destination and now i created this virtual server done and the services services is the http all services also you can enable but if you wanted to enable the particular service that that time also you, you because http server http service is there and the icmp service for the ping i'm just going to enable icmp also all icmp ping okay then that's it okay netting is not required that time but it is not impact anything icmp is a ping ping is a ping is working under the icmp now yeah, yeah, you can give directly ICMP, right? Yeah, you can. Okay, so now this is our PC, and now you can hit what? What you can hit? Open any browser. Just a minute. okay open any browser and hit now the ip address because it is on port number 80 right Wait a minute. Hmm. Just a little bit slow, it is. So HTTP colon double slash. What is the IP? One zero one dot one dot one dot one hundred right now hit it it is asking for some credential right so i don't have credential now i need to select any credential here why it is asking the credential no no it will not some authentication i need to create here let me okay who will come that you can define also uh from in the policy under this user definition create user next test one test one test and the one two three next next don't save next and the finish submit okay and the federal policy under this policy
server load balancing policy under the source this user will come and the test now you can try you now once again what it is this test and one two three test this http services need to be you know configured into this uh, let me configure the http service into these devices okay Enable configuration terminal and the host name. Press here. Done. Enable configuration terminal and the best here. Enable configuration terminal. In the internet also. Let me try without internet first. Just a minute. Then, right, uh, once again. don't save so why it is not coming let me use the DNS We are able to reach right but it should be yeah. it should be with the port number 80 tail net with the port number 80 tail net but tail net is not possible because this is the tail net is different thing okay i have been configured last time also then there was first time i'm getting these issues okay previously there was no issue some certificate HTTP column double slash one zero one dot which IP I am getting 
Zero one dot one dot one hundred. By the way, it was it supposed it it supposed to not ask this one. Okay, I don't know why it is asking. Many time I have been configured this, but it was not asked. I will check it later. Okay, but. There is nothing. Wait a minute. Okay, so Krishna, are you there? Yeah, so what was the missing that uh, mm, that configuration was missing like HTTP service must be enabled into this firewall that was not enabled and this the this servers. Okay, so that I have been enabled and uh, now if you see we are able to access the server one okay the second if i use so again i'll it will ask me the same credentials okay for other router don't save so so this one only was missing okay yeah yeah now it is now it is a server two <laughs> server two again if you hit it will it will go it will reach to the server three okay <laughs> So this is the way how you're going to configure a server load balancing. Okay, again it come to the server one because why it is asking again and again this uh, firewall policy virtual services. Okay, uh, instead of keeping this two two, we just need to give just zero so that it will send to each and every one. Then so here it will ask the credential. Now it is in server one. Now again, if you hit, it will go to this another server. Okay, so like this, we need to configure this. Now it is come to the server too, right? So this is the way how they are. They will choose to to the traffic will go to the where, right? Packet capture. If you see the packet capture, create new interface. Port number two. This is the port number three, and you can capture the port no, packet of the port number three. Uh, maximum captured packet. Two, okay include non IP packets everything I am just going to enable and if your host port lane port 80 who is the host source is a 102 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .1 .
server one makes zero packet received okay and uh, what better we can do for the web source for what traffic no traffic is showing but this is the way how you're going to configure the server load balancing okay clear clear now yeah. Okay, so I'm going to stop and we have